Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to film a video on how to get separate drum tracks using a Superior Drummer within Reaper. I find it easiest to start with Superior Drummer itself. Uh, we want to go ahead and get our drum set set up using the drums that we want to be on the recording. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove a couple of the drums that I'm not using on this particular kit. Um, it's just a little bit easier for me using the Superior Drummer interface to do this part of it just because it's a little bit bigger. I can make it full screen. Um, I don't know, personal preference, I guess. Uh, we're going to go into the mixer and we're going to check and make sure that all of our routing output is set up correctly. We want to have all of our kicks on one, uh, snares on one. I mean, you can go a little bit more if you want, but we do only have 16 stereo channels, so I tend to combine a few things together a little bit here and there. Um, so, and then we're going to go ahead and, normally I would go ahead and save this, but since I've already set this kit up once before, um, I'm not going to. Let me go back into Reaper. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and start with a fresh project, make it a little bit easier for the tutorial itself. So we're going to close out of this project here. All right, so we're opening Reaper fresh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get a um, virtual instrument track set up here in Reaper. So we can do track, insert virtual instrument here. Hang on, there it is. And then we're going to select Superior Drummer, and we're going to hit OK. Now on this prompt that's coming up, we do not want to build those route puts now because we're going to build them later. And if you select yes both times, you actually end up with 32 stereo channels. Um, so you end up with duplicates. So we're going to open the kit that we just created. That's why I usually start with Superior Drummer because it's a little bit easier. And then um, since I didn't save last time, the drums were still there. So I'm going to pull, pop those back out. We're going to go into the mixer, double check, make sure that our routing is still set for the correct outputs. And we're going to select options and we're going to do build multi-channel routing. I go through and mute all of the bleed level on all of my uh, microphones. Um, Superior Drummer likes to emulate I, I guess what the what real microphones would do so like in a real studio the microphone on the kick drum is going to pick up a little bit of sound from the snare, a little bit of the sound from the crash cymbals, vice, you know so on and so forth. But uh, an engineer also tries to limit the amount of bleed from one instrument onto another microphone. So why not do it here? I am leave the bleed on for my overheads and the room mics because they're supposed to pick up a little bit of everything. So I just tend to leave those ones alone. They're not very high in the mix anyways. So they're more there just for feel more so than sound. Um, obviously, you can record your own MIDI track in Superior, or within Reaper. Um, I already had a MIDI track done. I was just editing it a little bit here in Superior Drummer, so I'm just going to drag and drop it into Reaper. We're going to select Render. We're going to do Render Multi-Channel -chan Stems. Uh, render doesn't take too long. As you can see, it is rendering at about 15 and a half times the speed of real time. Um, so this just takes a few seconds here to go through and do the whole track. All right, so as you can see, the track's already done, We're in a, and it already mutes the Superior Drummer original MIDI file for us. So that makes it a little bit easier. Now we have all these tracks here. We select the first one, we scroll down to the bottom, hit Shift, and select the last one to select all of those tracks. We're going to select Record Output, Stereo. We're going to arm all those tracks, and we're going to turn off the monitors. So now our output tracks for all of the routing that we set up before is ready to record. We go ahead and go back to the beginning of the track just to make sure and when we hit record now what's happening is these multi-channel stems are going to process through the FX chain um, in Superior Drummer uh, and it's going to route the drum sounds out to the outputs that we selected. So for example as you can see on the screen here that S12 um, is our stereo channel uh, outputs one and two, which is the kick drum, as you remember seeing in Superior Drummer. 
Uh, three and four is our snare drum, um, and so on and so forth. Some tracks will not get used um, in this particular kit. Uh, like for example, on this particular kit, I'm only using three toms. I only have uh, one rack tom, two floor toms. So the even though I have routing for a second route tom, rack tom set up, um, it's obviously not going to get any sound recorded on that one. Um, also, I did skip one towards the beginning because uh, by default, if you select the defaults in Superior Drummer, it actually tries to put the hi-hat and the bottom snare microphone on the same micro same output, and I don't know why it does that. Uh, and it also tries to put some stuff through uh, stereo chains. So I, I did not use the defaults. I set up my own, but um, it was a little bit of trial and error to do so. And because of that, I ended up skipping one of my stereo channels um, kind of high, and I ended up not using so I uh, two other ones. So I think in total I have three stereo channels that I don't use at all um, with this particular kit set up. So, um, and then at this point, it's just a matter of letting the recording finish. It's, uh, as you can see on the screen, it's dropping the kick drum into um, one and two, snare drum into three and four, so on and so forth. Um, and then this will allow you to, uh, you know, apply whatever mixing, mastering, um, you know, EQ um, effects, whatever you want to do. It allows you to do it per input. So basically you can change, if you need to change something with the kick drum sound, with the snare drum, if you need to level this, make the kick drum louder, softer. Um, th th basically the same thing you would do if you were miking a real drum set and recording in a studio. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make this video because when I first started trying to learn how to do this myself, um, I wasn't able to find any videos on how to do this. Uh, I found plenty of videos how to get Superior Drummer set up within Reaper. Um, I had to do a little bit of trial and error to get that correct, but I got it. Um, and I had to learn this a little bit myself and a little bit using some forums, uh, a little bit of Reddit reading, uh, stuff like that. Um, so, and, and this may not be the easiest way to do this. Uh, it's just the way I found that works. Um, if you guys know of a better way to do it and you have any suggestions for something I can do differently, uh, by all means, feel free to drop a comment down below so that I can learn from you guys. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Uh, thank you guys uh, for tuning in, and please consider liking, uh, subscribing, and um, sharing this video with others if you think it would be helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.